This is a lecture from Open Tuition. To benefit from the lecture, you should download the free lecture notes from opentuition.com. Okay, so you've taken a lot in there in terms of your initial measurements, your classification, if you like, as fair value through profit or loss, fair value through other comprehensive income, amortised cost, as well as thinking about subsequent measurements and a little bit of de-recognition as well. I told you it was going to be a tough chapter. So, so let's just try and help you out a little bit by working the example that we have here uh, on financial assets. So what we've got there is we need to look at how to account for them. Again, it does say to explain, but I think I'm just going to focus more on the accounting entries because you have the explanation in the back in the answer. OK, uh, so we've got three separate scenarios. We'll deal with each one individually. I suppose you can possibly guess if we have fair value through profit or loss, fair value through other comprehensive income, amortised cost as our three categories of financial asset, what's going to happen. But we'll see that shortly. So let's deal with each of them individually. Uh, so it says that we bought 100,000 shares in a listed entity quite handy that it's a listed entity because there will be a fair value. Uh, we bought them on the 1st of November 2015. Uh, each share cost $5 to purchase. So that's it, the initial fair value. Uh, there was a fee of 25 cents per share. Uh, so that's your transaction costs. And then it says the fair value of each shirt the 31st of December. So assuming that's the reporting date was there at $3.50. So we have an investment in shares. So we have a financial asset. We need to go through there and look at the financial assets, uh, the equity instrument, and look at whether it's fair value through profit or loss or fair value through other comprehensive income. Well, there's nothing there within the question that says that we're going to hold it for the foreseeable future. So we're going to go there with the default fair value through profit or loss. OK. Uh, so we need to go through there and look at what happens at initial recognition. So initially, remember, it is there, isn't it, at fair value. But just be careful, because it is fair value through profit or loss, remember what happens there is that we expense your transaction cost, don't we? OK, the reason why we expense them is because it is fair value through profit or loss. OK, so what we've got there initially, we will debit the investment and credit the bank. Uh, what have we bought? Was it 100,000 shares? five dollars each okay so does that give me the debit to bank five hundred thousand sorry debit to investments five hundred thousand credit to bank five hundred thousand so what you will see there on the investment that will appear on the statement of financial position won't it okay but what you've then got as well is you pay the transaction costs so there will be a debit for your transaction costs going immediately to the statement of profit or loss. And then you credit the bank. OK, uh, here was it 25 cents. Uh, 
Uh, so 25 cents is that there at 25,000 dollars. Okay, there we go. Hopefully everybody's happy with that bit there. Uh, what we then need to go through and do is we then need to look at the subsequent treatment. So subsequent treatment then. Again, we measure it at fair value and then gains and losses go to profit or loss. Okay. Uh, so what were we told within the question? We were told here uh, that the fair value was $3.50. There are 100,000 shares that we have bought. So the fair value is $350,000. Now this is where we need to be careful because this is where we need the investment to get to. And what we have currently is this is where the investment is. Okay. So what you can see there is that we have, is it a reduction in fair value? And that decrease is 150,000, isn't it? Uh, if you can't see that, let's just write it out. It was at 500. And it's now 350. Okay. So there's a reduction in the investment. So I need to process a debit. I need to process a credit. Credits reduce your assets, don't they? So I credit the investment with 100 and 50,000 and then I debit my statement of profit or loss is it there with the 150,000 okay there we go uh, so you've got the debit to statement of profit or loss effectively that's like a, an expense isn't it or, or, or a loss on the financial instruments it's not a very good investment, really, is it? Okay. Wow, you've lost, what is it? 30%, is it? Okay, of your investment. Jeez. Don't take any advice from that investment analyst. But there we go. Okay. Uh, brilliant. So that there is the first transaction done. Okay. Our fair value through profit or loss. You look at that, I think, not too bad, is it? Okay. Uh, make a really nice multiple choice type question wouldn't it i really think this whole section financial instruments is really geared up well for section b isn't it you know focusing on one particular area of accounting and then five separate multiple choice questions on different things such as financial assets financial liabilities uh, compound instruments so convertible debentures like we'll see a little bit later oh yeah imagine that for a question I think we'd have to have some of the easier bits like this in there first, wouldn't we? Okay. Excellent. There we go. Uh, so, exam aside, let's go through and have a look at number two. Uh, what have we got? Uh, here, we're told that Norman bought 200,000 shares. Again, it's in a listed entity, so that's good for a fair value. Uh, oh, bonus. We're told that it cost us 500,000, so none of this having to work out what the, the, what the fair value was. Uh, and then you've got the costs of 40,000. So we need to think about what we do that or do with that, depending upon how we classify it. And it's in the next sentence, isn't it? That, that, that helps us determine how to, to classify it. Norman acquired the shares as part of a long term strategy to realize the gains in the future. So we have some strategic intent to hold that financial asset. So based upon that, it is a fair value through other comprehensive income, financial asset, equity, investment. OK. So when we initially measure it, those transaction costs will be capitalized as part of 
the financial assets. Then we go through there and we measure at reporting date to fair value, uh, which is here, is that at 620,000. Uh, and then any gains or losses go through other comprehensive income. Okay. Uh, we're then told that they are sold. So we will therefore de recognize that equity instrument and they were sold for 650,000. What do we do with the gain on disposal? What do we do with the gain or loss maybe that is stored up in other comprehensive income? Let's go. Uh, so what we've got there, number two. Uh, number two is looking at fair value through other comprehensive income. Uh, why? Because we have there, isn't it? the intent to hold it okay that's what we're going to do with it we think it's a good investment but we need to wait for a little while we need to be patient so again initially it's going to be at fair value but don't forget here we will include The transaction costs okay uh, so we're going to go through that and capitalize them because it is this fair value through other comprehensive income okay uh, so what we're going to go through and do that is that we will debit our investments and credit the bank so the investment that we recognise in total is 540000 dollars isn't it? Uh, being the amount paid of five hundred plus those transaction costs. None of this expensing it through profit or loss. Okay. There we go. Uh, we then need to go through and look at what happens with our subsequent measurement. So at the reporting date, it needs to be there at fair value. Uh, in the question, we were told what the fair value was. Uh, was that there at 620000 dollars If that's the case, then what we have there is that it was previously at 540, isn't it? So that there is an eighty thousand dollar increase. Okay. Again, if you're curious as to where that's come from, it's the 620,000. Uh, less is it? Bom, bom, bom. Did we have 540,000? Okay, an increase in the value of this asset. A much better investment than what we had before, isn't it? Whereby we had the loss. So, what you've got now, an increase to your investment, is that you are going to debit. your investment and um, we will debit the investment there is it with the 80,000 and then you will go through that and credit your other comprehensive income credit OCI with the same 80,000 okay there we go uh, so that gain will be seen alongside your gain on revaluation of property plants and equipment so they're, they're the two figures that you see within oci at this financial reporting level yeah gain on property revaluation and gain on your fair value through other comprehensive income investments okay everybody happy with that bit there if you're not just check go back make sure that, that everything makes sense and, that, and then restart the video okay